Hi, welcome back. My name is Immortality Image Done. We continue our lectures on the matters that concerns our spirituality, our unfolding. I'm a mystic. Life has traveled me through a lot of patterns, a lot of pathways, you might call it. The pathways for the evolved soul. The processes that every awakening so I use the word awakening. And I want to explain why it's awakening. I'm going to use this word. I will give you two instances. When you sleep at night, you don't know when you sleep. That is the ultimate thing that happens to you. That when you don't, you cannot really tell when you sleep. But while you are sleeping, there are two events that are happening. Before you can be able to understand my videos and be able to comprehend where I'm coming from, there are things I have to establish. Number one thing, the lot of recycling of soul, we call it reincarnation, soul cycling is one paramount spiritual law is a foundational fundamental law and the theory of every soul whether you agree or not i mean that you don't believe does not mean it's not true and it is one starting point of which i've been speaking from evolution is a process of soul cycling and whatever you reach at a point of time a life is going to bring you back for you to complete your cycle this earth is a garden we come here to be trained so that we can go back to become the stars of heaven yeah let me stop it there that is number one thing you must believe with me number two thing you must understand with me is that we are multi-dimensional creatures we are multi-dimensional beings I was studying something today, I began to realize that this mechanism, this engine, this body we carry is magic. It's the most wonderful, most unspeakable, most conspicuous, most exclusive magic you can ever imagine. There are even unidentified flow of information, flows of rays, connection that connect from your bone. There are nerves that run in your system. If I begin to open what happened, the cranium down to the brain that runs down even to all the socket that make the facial cranial nerves. If I open to you what happens from this down from the spinal cord or if i open to you what happens in this thoracic region you you will marvel very dynamic supernatural mechanics it was fabricated by the unknown it was fabricated from the rim of the of perfection this body we carry is magic so that is why i say that we are so so two days and we are multi-dimension so you cannot expect this construction and it to just be something that will just be ordinary sand dies and go like that no a lot of things takes place within and without this structure this body you carry cherish it give attention to it understand the scope learn how it works it is the most efficient most productive most powerful equipment most powerful tool that divinity have given on it i am telling you whether they are aliens or spirit or god no spirit can visit the earth without the soul of man no spirit can visit the earth in fact man was created to yield to spirit so it is when we yield to them they will find expression to our soul and they will find expression to the earth 
So that is how powerful this is a gateway to spiritual expression. This is a gateway to calling down spirit. And this is also a gateway to taking them out. So everything that happens here, how we, we harmonize this life force we call your oxygen. Oxygen, yeah, that's what you'd call it. But that is a vibrational life force. When it goes, life goes. Or you think it's ordinary air. But that is what has been living with us. And that is why I say, this is a multi-dimensional entity. And we must understand how the mechanics works. It's the magic. Okay, it's a magic. Now, hear this. You must believe in a soul cycling. Because why? If your karmic cycle did not complete on this time, sorry, you will not come back. Whether you like it or not. Until you complete your cycle and you become completely a soul that has been maximized completely by divinity, then you can now evolve. I, I'm not gonna touch that so much now. Let me let me concentrate on this issue. So these two things: you are multidimensional and you are evolving. You are cycling. That is what we call reincarnation. Okay. So these two. Those laws are what you must work with me because that is the law that, that is the foundation of every spiritual journey. No added, no spiritual master, no guru will teach you anything in mysticism without these two laws. Okay, now we get that. Now we're going to talk about this issue about our cognition, how we awaken, how we awaken. So every soul every soul you are when you lie down on the bed that is where i stop you don't know when you sleep your melatonin is activated down inside the pituitary glands the thermogram it makes you sleep and you sleep and you wake up in the morning yes you wake up and that's where you hear the alarm blum, blum, blum. alarm wakes you up and i made one funny video about the alarm my question is what happens when you sleep? Some people don't even understand that. What we call the dream wall. Oh, I have been dreaming. That is not the dream wall. Sorry. That is the real wall. The real wall is a wall that is very perfect. Everything is perfect. That wall does not have time count in it. And that is the word of immortality, the word of eternity, the word of the spirit, the astral world. There is no time. The enemy that is controlling this world we jump in is time the lot of time and chance so i'm not going to really talk about that now i might talk about it in the next video but whenever you sleep you transit out from the world of time you are not living in the astral world you are in the dream world so called but that is my real world because i can achieve everything i want to achieve in this physical by how i manage my spiritual world so when i dream I make sure I am in perfect cognition. I use that language, cognition. Cognition comes from the word to cognize, that means to be able to identify first of all, to go ahead, to manage information, to harness, to know. And that is why we use recognition. That is the second step. To recognize means to re cognize but somebody need to cognize first so it is a world of perfect cognition and when you sleep you be able to be in perfect harmony in tune yourself with oneness with the cosmos and that is why your dream makes sense what happens when you sleep your body comes your astral body it ejects out there is a call from the other side of world we don't even know we live two world. We live a two life. How do you manage your two lives? You really pay attention on this your physical life. What about the other life you live in your astral world, especially when you sleep? And that is the reason why we only know about that world only when it is night to sleep. Can you consciously transit over to that world? Is it possible I can do an astral journey and consciously come out of this body and I know when I came out, I can be able to turn and see the horror I call myself sitting or lying down like a dead dust and I'll just transit. Can I just cross over to the world of time, the world without time, 
without stress. So what happens when you sleep? You have transited the other side and you begin to drive. You begin to, I want to be in India. I find myself in India. I want to be in Africa. I find myself in Africa. Just by the speed of light, my thought is creating my world. Have you, are you be able to think when you are in your astral, when you are sleeping? Can you be able to drink? Think. Do you use your thoughts? How do you manage your vibration of your thoughts in your dream world? This is what makes people gurus. When you hear people talk about your thought, I, oh, having astral traveling, or oh, being able to hear the voices of angels, they are not extra things. They are not something that is left for, you know, magicians and extra beings. There are things that you need to understand that they can synchronize with you. It is very simple. How do I manage my thought when I'm sleeping? What runs in my mind? First of all, let me ask this question. Can you, as a human, in this your state of mind, be able to put yourself in thoughtlessness for three minutes? Thoughtlessness. I mean, sitting down or lying down and you will be able to shut down every door in your mind shut down shut every window down shut down every factory noise shut down the whole noise you will realize that sometimes you cannot you cannot hear very well the sound of your heartbeat when was the last time you were able to concentrate so much to hear that vibration from your heart boom, 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 very loud? You have never shut down. You have never off the noise. You have never cooled down those quiet your mind for a while. Can you exist in the realm of thoughtlessness just for three minutes? If you can do that, I tell you the truth. You are a seeker. You are awoken. Awaken. You are a hybrid. Can you be able to activate the cognition of spending three seconds, I mean three minutes, with that no quality, no little thought running through your mind. Your mind becomes so empty. It with the quest for money, quest for family, quest for progress, everything that is running every day. Do you imagine the gravity, the quality, this, the 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 quantity of thoughts, vibration, thinking, projection? You see, that runs in our mind as human every day, in every second. I guarantee you, in every second, if I scan your mind, I will find nothing less than 1,000 thoughts flowing in your mind in a different pattern in every second. We are all human, have our problems, have our challenges, have family issues, thinking about tomorrow, how to do my school, how to do my education, projection, my business, my work, my family. Everything is all there. They are all there. Just like the big icon in your computer. You see those icons are hanging. Thousands of icons are displayed in our mind frame. They are all there. And the most important thing is that if you click one icon, you might not exhaust one icon for a week. If you click on one icon, you might not finish studying what is on that icon for a week. Lo and behold, these are hundred tons of icons are the same icons that are we have successfully placed in our mind frame. They are all there. And that's why sometimes somebody say, how do I manage this icon? How do I manage them? They are all displayed in our mind frame. They are seeking attention. They are seeking for me to click them. The each of them is striving to get my, my, my cursor to click open. And sometimes we have clicked 10 open and they are running the same time. We're getting crazy and hey, shut down. Shut them down. Can you learn how to shut down all those icons? Ot effort, ot effort, 
use the program. Deprogram your mind. Despite how battling it is, how challenging it is. We must learn how to shut down these programs that are running and making us too more than making us too responsive to irresponsive, irresponsible material things, things that don't add value to our spiritual identity. And how do I manage this thought pattern every second? More than 100 thought patterns run through our mind. My question is, can I exist in a world of thoughtlessness for three minutes? Can I? If you can, I challenge you. If you can, you are awakened. You are awakened. Now, we are learning the dynamic, the dynamic process. We are learning the dynamics of managing our mind every battle starts from the mind any battle that is lost in the mind is lost forever so it is how you manage it how you control it no no design no structure of our external world can be managed if we don't start managing it from the inside see okay let me bring it this way the icons that are represented in your mind are the same icon that exists in the outside so the small ones here the corresponding structure is the big one out there. I will give you an instance. Suddenly, somebody will click on a picture of a naked woman. What happens? He will start seeing it on the outside. Once the picture is open, he will start seeing it on the outside. I will give you an instance what happened to me and my friend when we were in the college, in the university, and one day we went to the cyber 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 room to use the computer and we didn't have access to our own personal laptops then and then when we went there we didn't know that the guy that finished using the computer was watching a pornography you know was watching a virus pornography i mean young 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 men that then who we are christians you know praying and compassion and praying in tongues and all those things so we 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 went there and my friend logged into the computer and lo and behold, the, the season that they not finished opened to us by itself. It was a picture of nakedness, it was a nudie picture, it was a nudie video, and it was the end. And this is a virus that can take two seconds to go in as an icon in the mind frame. And it might take you 15 years to delete that virus. If you don't manage your mind well, your mind framework well, that little information can use two minutes, two seconds to find a special in our mind, but it might cost you a 15 year time to delete it. Now, if anything we saw it, my friend, <laughs> he's really speaking in Tostrap, I told him, say, Dario, come, you see this thing? It cannot go out by praying. This torture the computer in the essence in a way that you cannot close your eyes and use the mouse and click close. You will look into it. It was the way they structured it. They are targeting your thought eye. They are targeting your mind frame. They want you to have a contact with the virus. They want to design it for a program of corruption so that you will look at it and it will corrupt you. Now, what will be my story if I don't have my mental defense activated? I don't have my immunity guiding my mind. If I don't have my protection, if I don't have my inward spiritual governance that will govern me against every virus, I will be contaminated. So we had to look inside a computer and we click close. And the question was, if it is somebody who is not guided, that was a very challenging virus that can contaminate his reasoning. Even in the next 20 years, he will be fighting to get rid of what took him two seconds to have access to. That is life. How do I guide this mind? Can I shut down my mind? I'll be teaching you in the next video how you can shut down the mind.